The Internet Country Code Top Level Domain CCTLD, for Italy is it and is sponsored by Consiglio Nazionale della Ricerche. The EU domain is also used, as it is shared with other European Union member states. Currently Internet access is available to businesses and home users in various forms, including dial-up, fiber, cable, DSL, and wireless. Average speed According to netindex.com, the Italian average for fixed connections is below the global average 42.71 megabits per second down, 20.39 megabits per second up at February 2018, with an average speed of 36.03 megabits per second down, 12.42 megabits per second in upload. Consideration based on the public data available at http wwwspeedtestnet global index italy February 2018. On the contrary, the average of mobile connections is above the global average global, 22.16 megabits per second down, 9.01 megabits per second up, Italy, 30.15 megabits per second down, 11.15 megabits per second up at February 2018. Overview According to data released by the Fiber to the Home FTTH Council Europe, Italy represents one of the largest FTTH markets in Europe, with more than 2.5 million homes passed by Fiber at end December 2010. At the same date, the country reported around 348,000 Fiber subscribers. The Fiber for Italy Project, with the participation of providers FastWeb, Vodafone and Wind in a co-investment partnership, aims to reach 20 million people in Italy's 15 largest cities by 2015, and Telecom Italia plans to connect 138 cities by 2018. The government has also started the Italia Digital Project, which aims to provide at least 50% of Italians with high-speed internet access by 2020. The government aims to extend the fiber-optic network to rural areas. While ADSL 2 Plus with speeds up to 20 over 1 of a megabit per second is still the most widely common subscription available in Italy, the main telephone company in the country, Tim or Telecom Italia, is investing 12 billion euros in the period of 2016 to 2018, with the aim of reaching 84% of the homes with broadband connection 100 megabits per second before the end of 2018. Despite this, there's a debate going because the company is still investing on copper and on the fiber to the cabinet FTTC technology, instead of bringing fiber directly to the home everywhere. The FTTC and BDSL2 technologies can currently bring up to 120ths of a megabit per second connections to the final customer. Tim and FastWeb have plans to increase FTTC speeds with vectoring to up to 250ths of a megabit per second streams before the end of 2016. The FTTH network is developing as well, with a standard 1,100ths of a megabit per second connection, 1,200ths of a megabit per second with Vodafone, at the same subscription price as FTTC. Figures published by the National Institute of Statistics showed at N2011 that 58,8% of Italian families had a personal computer, up slightly from 57,6% in 2010, 54, 5% had access to the Internet, up from 52,4%, and 45,8% had broadband access, up from 43,4%. Over one-fourth, 26, 3 percent, down slightly from 26, 4 percent in 2010, of Italian Internet users aged 14 and older made an online purchase during 2011. Internet regulation an anti-terrorism law amended in 2005, after the terrorists' attacks in Madrid and London, by then Minister of the Interior Giuseppe Pisano, restricts the opening of new Wi-Fi hotspots, subjecting interested entities to first apply for permission to open at the police headquarters of jurisdiction and that Internet users should be subject to identification, by presenting an identity document. This has inhibited the opening of hotspots across Italy, with a number of hotspots five times lower than France and the conspicuous absence of municipal wireless networks. Considering the above-mentioned law at two shrink, a proposed law should facilitate the opening and access of Wi-Fi hotspots, although it is not clear how it should be possible. Only at the end of 2010, a bipartisan bill allowed for the repeal of Article 7 of the Pisano Law. 
The abrogation was finally made by the Monte Cabinet, which has not entered the renewal extension in the decree of 2011, so that the provision is no longer in force since January 1, 2012. Currently, internet filtering in Italy is applied on websites which display child pornography and on some P2P websites, including the most famous The Pirate Bay. A pervasive filtering is applied to those gambling websites that don't have a local license to operate in Italy. See also Telecommunications in Italy Censorship in Italy References External links Italy Profile, on OpenNet Initiative website. Non e un Pisa per Internet. In sync anni dici leggi contro la rete, in Italian, article from the newspaper Il Fatto Quotidiano. Internet access and use in the EU 27 in 2008, Eurostat news release. The Networked Readiness Index 2008-2009 Rankings, from the Global Information Technology Report, 2008-2009, World Economic Forum